Hey everybody, it's Skylar with Wonderful Memories and I am super excited to be back in the United States and to share everything that I have learned over the past four months with you guys. It has been an incredible journey, one that I will never forget and I want to thank every single one of you for tagging along and supporting me. I also want to extend a gratitude to everyone who chose to join me on my trips and also to those who I met along the way. You guys made the trip absolutely incredible and I cannot wait for the next one. I might be planning it already. So a few days ago I released a blog post about the 10 essential things that I believe everyone needs and today I want to take you through one of those items. Over the course of the next couple weeks I'm going to be releasing a video here and there to talk about each and every one of those items and why everyone should buy one for their next vacation. But yeah, let's get into it. So this is the backpack that I absolutely loved and adored throughout my entire vacation. It was durable, it was strong, and it survived all of my tossing around and throwing around for over four months. If you guys didn't know, I did have to come home for one week unexpectedly in April. However, it turned out to be a good thing because I needed to switch out my travel backpack. The one that I bought off Amazon before the trip that I thought was going to be perfect ended up breaking on me in one week. I grabbed it right out of the compartment of the plane and the handle ripped right off, making it extremely hard to travel with, I'm not gonna lie. So I got home, I ordered this one off Amazon hoping for different results and I got it. So I love this backpack so much that I do want to talk about it, go through each compartment and tell you guys why you need it. So this backpack has several different compartments. My favorite one and what drew my eye to it was this compartment for your shoes. So if you're hiking or if you're in the water or if you're out and about and you just have dirty, dirty shoes, you can slip them right in there. They also have these vent holes so that you <laughs> can vent out the smelly, smelly shoes. The second compartment is right here on the front. It is so much bigger than you think it is. I was able to fit like anything I wanted easy access to, especially on the plane. So portable chargers, gum, um, headphones, all kinds of stuff like that. And then you have this other zipper right here. It's a little bit smaller and I liked putting like receipts or my tickets or something really small in that compartment. Don't put your passport in there. I don't like telling anyone to put passports on the exterior of your backpack. Um, there is a compartment in the back that I'll show you guys, but let's just keep going through the rest of it first. The third compartment is one of my favorites. So this is like a waterproof, water resistant compartment. It's great to put toiletries or anything that is going to spill or potentially leak. So putting it in there protects your bag. The main compartment opens up all the way down and I like this aspect of it and this is why I consider it a travel suitcase backpack is because it does zip all the way down. A normal backpack isn't going to zip all the way down and when you go in with your arm trying to search for something, things just get really disorganized and when you're traveling for an extended period of time, you do need to keep very organized. So in this compartment, I kept my journal, um, some other little things behind here. You can keep your pens, writing utensils. I also kept a ton of my content creation, videos, SD cards, all of that stuff in this section as well. Just remember that if you do decide to put shoes in the shoe compartment, this does fill up a little bit of your space. However, there's plenty more room. Again, I kept my GoPro in here. I kept my other gadgets and gadgets and things like that in here. And then you also have the charge port. So you'll hook this up and then you plug your phone into your charger through here. And then you can charge your phone super easily. And then the last compartment that I really like is the hidden laptop compartment. So yeah, I kept my laptop in here. I felt really safe up against my back. It was also easy to take out and throw into the bin while going through TSA and security checkpoints. And it also has this cushion compartment on the back, which allows for your computer to be safe. Trust me, I was throwing it all around and it turned out just fine. And then you do have this smaller zipper compartment on the back here where the mesh is. 
And that's where I kept like my passports and things that I wanted to keep up against my back that no one could easily access. And then you do have the strap for your carry-on. So I slid this right over my hard carry-on and it survived all the cobblestones. Yes, there were thousands and thousands of cobblestones all across Europe that we went through. But yeah, you also have a compartment here for your water bottle and then you also have straps that when it's all packed up you can pull it tight and then it's not as bulky and it stays nice and nice and small. You also have this section in the front here to help you if you are walking a long ways or you have an extended layover in the airport and you need to do laps. <laughs> Maybe I've done that once or twice. But yeah, this is the travel backpack that I absolutely fell in love with and I will not be traveling without it again. You can find the link to it in my blog. Just go ahead and click that link. It'll take you straight to Amazon where you can get yours. I hope you enjoy it and we'll talk again soon. Bye.